is the function big F of x continuous at x equals 3, y or y not. So in order to check this, we'll just go basically through the definition of continuity. So we say f is continuous at uh, x equals c. In this case, uh, c is going to be 3. If, and there are three conditions. So the first condition is that f of c is defined. So what that basically means is that when you take um, c and you plug it into the function, you have to get an answer. So let's go ahead and check this condition right away for our function here. So our c is uh, 3. So if we plug in 3, let's see what happens. f of 3. Well, if we look at our conditions here, uh, the top condition is the one that works because 3 is less than or equal to 3. In particular, 3 is equal to 3. So we use this condition here. So this is 3 plus 2. So f of x is equal to x plus 2 in this case. So you just replace x with 3. So this is 5. So it's certainly defined. There's no issues there. 2. The second condition is that when you take the limit as x approaches c of your function, you have to get an answer. So this limit should exist. It should be equal to a number. Let's go ahead and check that here in this problem. So to do that, uh, we're basically going to try to evaluate the limit as x approaches 3 of big F of x. We have to figure out if this exists. So to do that, we'll take one-sided limits. So let's take the limit from the left. And by the way, the reason we're going to take one-sided limits is because we have inequalities here. So it's easy to break it up into cases by doing it this way. So if we take the limit from the left of big F of x, this is the same as the limit as x approaches 3 from the left. And when you approach 3 from the left, you're smaller than 3. So you're using this condition here. So basically, you replace your big F of x with x plus 2. So this is x plus 2. Now we can plug into 3. So we get 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. So now we'll take the limit from the right. So limit x approaches 3 from the right. And when we're taking the limit from the right, x is bigger than 3. So we're going to use this bottom piece now. So this is the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of 2x minus 5. So now we plug into 3, so we get 2 times 3 minus 5, so we get 6 minus 5, so we get 1. So we get 1 this time. But look, these aren't the same, right? So the one-sided limits aren't the same. This means that this limit does not exist. So the answer is no, it's not continuous, and it's because, bc means because, being lazy, uh, no, because this limit does not exist. So the limit as x approaches 3 does not exist. If we would have gotten the same answer, then the limit would have existed, and then we would have gone on to check the third condition, which is that the limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to f of c. So you just go down the line and just check each condition. In this case, the second one failed. If the second one works, you just check the third one. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.